Hello everybody, my name is Gaming Brian and today we are back with another Silent Hunter game. This is Silent Hunter 5 Battle of the Atlantic. I do have my first three videos up of Silent Hunter 4. Now for 5 we're going to be focused on the German side. I did complete a mission. So I want to... Sure, what do you want? Uh, let's get that. And we're gonna... Sure thing. What do you have in mind? So what I did is I completed, you know, like the game game tutorial. Oh, excuse me. We'll take one electrical. Sure. What do you want? Sure. What do you want? Captain's emblem. We're gonna go with this one. Just the classical. You know, laughing swordfish. So that we have 430 hours on the left. Yes, Captain. You won't recognize your girl when I'm through with her. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I completed it. We are now in command of U27. And. Well, this is one of the U boats ready for the, the war. Now we go over here to. Oh. Over here to. Welcome back, Hercola. Let's get my mission. Come in, orders. Captain. I have just received your orders from Naval High Command. Unfortunately, our situation has just changed for the worse. Have a look at this. Following our invasion of Poland, England and France have now declared war on us. A situation not anticipated by Berlin. This of course means that we are now up against the most powerful fleet in the world, the Royal Navy. An uneven match, if ever there was one. The British fleet numbers 255 warships. We merely have 34. Not good. Which leaves us with only one hope. Our U-boats. Yes, it does. Our enemies have set up a naval blockade which traps our battleships in their ports or forces them into direct confrontation out at sea. A situation that must be avoided at all cost at this moment. Only smaller forces like the submarines can evade this blockade and make for the open sea. We currently possess 46 U-boats. 22 are ready for battle. We are one of them. You will command one of them, Captain. Make good use of her. Strategically, as Commodore Dönitz has explained, our overall objective is to exploit England's dependence on imported goods and strike her without direct confrontation by cutting off all supply lines and starving its people until the king himself begs for mercy. Your goal for now is to attack and inflict as much damage as possible along Britain's main coastal supply routes. Focus your attacks primarily on unescorted convoys and freighters. This will disrupt the enemy's supply lines, slow down their shipyard production, and diminish their overall shipping power. Let's give those Tommies hell. They'll never know what hit them. Good hunting, Captain. Alright, so we're going to take the British Coastal Waters mission. So let's read this. The British do not rely on merchant ships to just bring them supplies from supplies from aboard. But they also deliver them where they deliver them to where places where they're needed. Across the nation, this this means shipping can be sunk in coast areas. Of course, there's a convoy system in place, but they're unescorted. The British think their air patrol and minefields are enough for protection. Well, we'll show. We'll quest the mission, and now. Welcome back, Hercules. Start my new patrol. Of 1,156 U boats. At inner surface, only 538 captains of the captains died at sea. Hmm. So, the mission I completed was just like a tutorial. I wanted to get past that. Returning to All course. Stop. Half speed ahead. All stop. We're approaching our final waypoint. Seven. All right. So. Now we could go through this channel, and I forgot. Escort sighted bearing one six. I mean, we could do that, and 
I forgot to put a bunch of game settings down. I think, you know what, I'll take the channel this time. I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm going to do something different. Smoke on the horizon. Bearing three, three, four. New waypoint. Course three, five, four. Returning Off to course. Speed ahead. New waypoint. Course forty. New waypoint. Course twenty five. New waypoint. Course nineteen. New waypoint. Course seventeen. New waypoint, course five. Gonna plot out this. New waypoint, course three, five, four. New waypoint, course three, two, six. New waypoint, course three, one, eight. Problem with this channel is plotting out is a three, zero, nine. real pain New in waypoint, the neck. Course two, nine, eight. New waypoint, course two nine nine. New waypoint, course three zero six. New waypoint, course three zero seven. New waypoint, course three zero four. Ship sighted bearing three five zero. New waypoint, course two nine seven. New waypoint, course two nine zero. New waypoint, course two eight six. New waypoint, course two eight five. New waypoint, course two eight five. New waypoint, course two eight six. New waypoint, course two eight six. New waypoint, course two eight seven. New waypoint, course two eight six. New waypoint, course two eight three. New waypoint, course two eight two. New waypoint, course two eight one. Ship sighted, bearing one eight. New waypoint, course. Two eight zero. New waypoint. Course two seven seven. New waypoint. Course two six two. And there we go. New waypoint. Course two five nine. New waypoint. Course two seven four. New waypoint. Course. Two seven three. New waypoint, course two six nine. New waypoint, course two six nine. What we're gonna do? New waypoint, course two seven five. We'll go in near shallow waters, just not too shallow. We need to be enough to where we can dive. New waypoint, course two seven three. New waypoint, course two seven two. New waypoint, course two six eight. New waypoint, course two seven four. And there we go. So this is uh, Germany, by the way. Um, well, let's look around. Let's Escort sighted. Bearing three, four, four. Thank you for pointing that out. So let's see. As we got our... Ah, there it is. Oh, that looks really good, even for a game that like this. Oh, there it is. It's spinning. Normally it's right there, but it's right here. Now, of course, you cannot jump off this game. Or off this. 
But at least in this one you can walk around. So, um, well, let's get to know the crew. Whoa. Camera sensitivity is way up. Seeing the spot. So let's talk to our suck the depth Eipler. Our Yes, sir. Our number of watch My here. wife complains the kids are behaving like rascals. I'm so proud of them. Chips of the old block. Okay, so that's everybody for up here. So we're now going into the conning tower where everything happens for the captain. A lot happens here. Now we'll head down into the command room or the, you know, one of the big parts of the boats. Let's talk to Eric Don Neppler. Hey. Okay, maybe when he'll come back. Let's talk to Joseph Ironman. Every day. How's your wife? Still bad. Still bad when well. My parents are with her now. I guess there isn't much I could do for her anyway. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, the war started. Every day. Do we stand up Not a fleet size? Now that's true. So now we go over here to uh, Breno Shine. Now, go. let me look it up. All right. Uh, cr looking crew management. We have 18 promotional points. I'm not going to give them out, but let's see. Uh, our sound guy. Bruno is still a young boy. He joined the Navy. His father felt he was too much of a mama's boy. Bruno is very sensitive, not tough like the rest of the U.S. crew. Often gets, often get, which often makes him the victim. Their comments and harassment. Bruno doesn't really have any subs on the phone. He tries to avoid the rest of the crew. Bunsen looks after him. But he can't. But he can't always keep getting harassed. Bruno writes letters to his mother. Of course, pondering to the crew when found. Bruno begins to cry if his stress becomes too high. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, Captain. No complaints. So no one's picking on you? No, no. Well, maybe sometimes. But it's nothing serious, Captain. Uh, just let me know okay, if there's any Captain. trouble. Alright. And now we're going to talk to... Wolfram. Let's see. Wolfram has always been passionate for Hagos. He was the second youngest crew member on board. He's still translating from manhood to boyhood. His teachers are excellent. His ability to handle stress is not. Wolfie respects the crew by simply doing, simply because their lives depend on him. It's he often spreads around foolish sense. He's very professional. He also, can be quite stubborn. He also doesn't shy away from fighting if necessary. His brother passed away at an early age, and he was raised by his old brother and mother. He went to join the navy. He joined the navy after he was recruited at an event. Wolfie is not a Nazi, but he believes to do is ser serve his duty for the fatherland. I hear your brother's on the. How's your brother? I hear he's on the business. This man. Um, thanks. He's very honored to serve on such an outstanding ship. Well, your parents must be proud. They are Hekaloi, especially our mother. All right. So that is that. That's. Let's head back to where it starts getting noisy. Yeah, oh, you're still writing those books with really, Captain. It keeps me sane. Otherwise, my thoughts would be raging in my head. Yeah, now we go to the cook. You want to try some of this too, Captain? Heck, I see you brought your violin along. Yeah. The boats and cut my strings, so there's enough noise down here. <laughs> Trust me, that score isn't settled. I'll get him back some hours. You want to try some of 
Okay, so I might actually give away some points because I think that's it. I might give away some points to the uh, sound men, as you can see, bananas, a lot of meat hitting overhead because, well, this is going to be a long trip. Get back up top. And yeah, so yeah, we're gonna I guess give them out. We're gonna give some out to the sound man because there, that's a fly. some to the bosun. And, well, there we go. Radio, ah, we'll best get some of the There we go. Alright, so there. Well, they're spread out, spread out evenly as... Oh, that's right. Just take a look at underwater part but oh yes oops sorry I didn't mean to click that just trying to click that rudder five degrees to port rudder five degrees to starboard no let's keep returning to course all right so Trying to show you guys a beautiful shot. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. All right, well, I'm not going to keep you guys, and I will see you when, well, if we uh, encounter anything. Alrighty, um, so, yeah, this is interesting. We have another U-boat literally standing right there, so we're just gonna go into a little cheat mode and... Wow, so this is what our U-boat would have normally looked like, you know. It's just the average U-boat, but I just saw that and I wanted to kind of point it out to you guys and also I'll give you a tour of the uh, boat but like I said you know I already told you these rooms let's get down really quick so over here is the forward torpedo room the bunks are there they're no normally stored up because while well, you know, you gotta be ready to go at a moment. It's known as with the bulkhead door, which you can open and close. Over here are crew quarters. Uh, you got the sonar room, radio room. This is the. Oh, this is kind of one of the main things of the boat. Back here is more crew quarters. You got the kitchen, the engine room and then the battery room and then also one torpedo here in the back which I don't really know where it is so yeah I just wanted to point that U-boat out to you guys I mean I think it's kind of cool how you know that is 
so yeah um i guess i'll see you guys when something happens Alrighty, alrighty, we have some action. We have an enemy aircraft. Anybody know what type of aircraft? What's the depth? Depth on the keel is 41 meters, Captain. Okay. Closing tube one. Oh boy. Yes, sir. Man, the flag oh crap, where is this thing? Where is this thing? Yes, sir. Secure the flag. Periscope that. Extreme no, we oh, do we gotta go ahead flank? Let's see if we can find this guy. Hey, right up up. Oh, there he is. That's uh, all. Yeah, we're not taking closing to three. But we got to get this sub under. Slow speed ahead. Current depths one zero meters. It's crazy, as you can even see the ocean bottom. Engage electric motors. So yeah, we'll just. Well, now wait a bit. Hi. Um, I'm gonna stop it here, because I mean this is long enough. So if you like this, hit the like button. I will see you guys. Next time, this is Gaming with Brian. Peace.